Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. It's the end of July and we're already starting to see the fun fall products showing up in the stores. As much as I love making fall cards, I'm not ready to give up on summer quite yet. I will be using Spellbinder's brand new Autumn Leaves die set and I decided to also use Paper Rose's Ultraviolet Paper Collection. The colors in this collection are just gorgeous. I decided to use the paper that had lots of blues, greens, and some teals. So this is not going to be a fall card. Since leaves are around all summer, you don't have to just make them for fall. I cut out all of the leaves twice, so I have two of each with a total of 18 leaves. For the background of the card, I'm using some white shimmer cardstock. It's one of my favorites and I love to use it. It just adds that little extra detail to your card. Now I'll add some liquid adhesive on the back of the leaves and start attaching them to the card. And I'm leaving the center open since it will be covered up by a sentiment. While I'm adhering all of those leaves in place, I wanted to share an update from my recent glaucoma surgeries. I had one eye done in January and the second eye done in February. It was a very non-invasive laser surgery with the whole purpose of reducing the pressures in my eye so I could stop some of my medications. I was taking three different medications and one by one I have been able to stop all three medications which is wonderful. My doctor was very happy. She really wasn't expecting such great success from the surgery. Now the surgery I had done lasts on average about five years. It can be repeated two more times. After that, hopefully there'll be some new medical advancements for treating glaucoma. But for now, my pressures are stable and I am off of all my glaucoma medications. So once again, I'm reminding everyone, go get your eyes checked every single year. You can get glaucoma at any age. I was diagnosed in my 30s. So now let's get back to the card. My whole idea was to create a pile of leaves. So that's why I stacked several leaves on top of each other. I'll be layering this panel on some beautiful turquoise mirror cardstock from Tonic Studios. I did cut out the center so I could save that for another project. But I'll also fill in that cut out gap just so there's not a noticeable dent on the front of the card. So I just used some scrap cardstock for that. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and adhere my card front onto a card base. And this is an A2 size card. So five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. I love the pretty shine from the mirror paper. For this sentiment on the card, I'm using a stamp from Katherine Pooler. This is part of her mugshot set. I love this sentiment. Make today so awesome that yesterday gets jealous. I have a stitch circle die cut. And I'll be using some Catherine Pooler ink. This is the daydream color. I decided to use my mini Misty for stamping just in case I needed to stamp it more than once. My Catherine Pooler inks are amazing and I only needed to ink it up once. Since I used some shimmer cardstock for the sentiment, I decided to cut out another circle die cut and just adhere the two together just to add a little bit of stability. I'll adhere the sentiment to the center of the card, but first I'll pop it up using some foam tape. So I'm using the standard Scotch foam tape, just cutting some small pieces and adhering it around the edge of the circle and also one in the center. Just wanna make sure there isn't an area that sags at all. I'll remove the backing and adhere it to the center. So I'll cover up that big gap where I didn't put any leaves. Once I have my sentiment adhered nice and straight, for a finishing touch, I decided to use some Honeybee Stamps Small Clear Dew Drops. I love these, they're a really small size. There are two different sizes, so there's a super small and a medium size. But I think they're small enough you could easily mail the card without paying extra postage. I'll lay them out on my card first. I'm using an embellishment wand to pick them up since they don't have adhesive on the back. Then I'll use some Barely Art glue, just add a small dot onto the card, and then adhere those dew drops. And I like to use the back side of the embellishment wand to press them in place if I feel they need to be. So there is my finished card. I love how this one turned out. 
I did make a second card using the same paper collection, just decided to use some of the purple and blue papers instead. I think the green and blue card is my favorite, but I know there are a lot of purple fans out there as well. So let me know which one you like best. I will have links provided in the description box for all of the products used in this video. I love the new autumn leaves die set from Spellbinders, and I will be using those on some fall cards this year. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.